Well, we were sleeping calmly in our bed at around 4.17 in the morning when the alarm uh, started ringing and then the earthquake came. It was so intense to uh, the limit that we would we were trying to find shelter inside the house and we were hearing concrete pop, popping out of the walls and uh, falling off the ceiling. So we waited until the, the quake was over, but it lasted for way too long. Uh, we kept feeling it for a minute and a half. Then after that, we ran outside. Uh, we took the car and we drove to a nearby open space where people started joining us. And uh, we had to spend the night, the first night and the second night out. Uh, the weather here is freezing. Uh, food and water, drinking water is very limited. Uh, we barely have access to that. Uh, it's a weird feeling that we are aid workers, but uh, in a minute we became uh, people who are in the middle of this catastrophe, who need help. Now we have very few access to food and drinking water. It's very limited. Uh, for the first few hours, we had no water, no electricity and no natural gas. So we had to rely on our cars for heating and uh, to have shelter. And we tried to get people, as much people as possible to uh, stay with us in this open area uh, and then we help them go to the shelters because the, even the shelters are having uh, supply issues uh, with water and food and uh, things like that.